Vapors may be unwittingly inhaling all kinds of unusual substances such as alcohol and heavy metals like copper. As Patrick Gower reports, scientists investigating what's in vape liquids have even found traces of human saliva. Vaping was meant to be a tool to stop smoking, but now it is being used by kids who never smoked, like Takarua from Kawaro. He started when he was 13. So how many people that you know vape? Probably like hundreds. Hundreds? Yep, that are my age. So it's normal? Yep. One in five young New Zealanders now vape on a regular basis, according to research by the Asthma and Respiratory Foundation. School toilets are one of the worst places, and Takarua's principal at Te Kurakaupapa Māori o Te Oreni Ki Nati Awa is on patrol. Do you notice the effects of vaping coming off it or, or being on it in the classroom? Takarua is a, is a prime example. I confiscated his vape while we were on a school trip for a week. I saw him going through those withdrawal symptoms, you know, not wanting to speak to anyone, just not wanting to do anything really. Vape liquid obviously contains nicotine, one of the most addictive substances there is. But one of the big questions in my new documentary on vaping is what else is in vape juice? ESR scientists have been testing and found all sorts, including up to 20% ethanol, alcohol in most products. And they have found organisms. Some of the organisms we've detected are associated with saliva. These are from products that claim to be made in a, in a clean room. That's, that's disgusting. It is. Associate Professor Kelly Burrows of Auckland University is also investigating. And in that you've found all sorts of chemicals. Yeah. We found heavy metals. We found really it correlates with what the coil is made out of. So things like manganese, copper, chromium. Vaping is increasing. There are now more vapors than smokers. 340,000 Kiwis are vaping daily, according to Ash. One thing is certain, vaping is incredibly addictive. I actually tried to start smoking to stop vaping. So vaping was sold to us as a tool to stop smoking. Now, for some, it's the other way around. Patrick Gower, News Hub.